This is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is a little bit of an impromptu episode here in the Appalachian Mountains in southwest Virginia. I had a neighbor call me to tell her there, there was a snapping turtle right on her porch next to her front door. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity to do a little teaching about snapping turtles and intervene on this turtle's behalf. I will take this turtle after we finish filming and bring it back down towards the pond where she is likely to have come from. And I'll explain to you why I think it's a she, how you can pick up a snapping turtle safely if you need to. And the only time you really need to is if, well, they're in your front porch or they're trying to cross the street and you wanna safely get them to the other side and always choose which direction they're going. So nature at your door, this episode is gonna be about this female snapping turtle and how to safely handle one and a little bit about their biology. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So the place you're often going to see a snapping turtle is in the roadway and it's going to be at this time of the year. So when you find a snapping turtle in the roadway and if you think you need to move it for its own safety, make sure that you take it in the direction that she wants to go. So you have to try to figure out before you move it which direction she was going, which may or may not be very easy because sometimes they're just sitting there not moving but you may be able to judge by the directionality of which way they're going so to move a snapping turtle that you might find down the road it's very important to get behind it you don't want to pick him up by the sides of the shell because as you can see his neck is really long and they don't get the word name snapping turtle for nothing these guys really, really do snap aggressively when they're trapped out on land, like this one is. So I'm gonna go behind her and pick her up by the rear like this. And so now I've got her. I put my hands underneath her carapace, above her legs, so her legs can't scratch me. And I really need to stay with my face far enough away from her mouth and you can see that on land they will also hiss and you may uh, see her hissing so this is a female snapping turtle and I did want to show you underneath you see how the plastron is very small that's one of the identifiers of a snapping turtle it, it's very small and so she can't pull herself back into that shell uh, like other turtles can't because other turtles particularly like a box turtle can pull all their head tail and legs completely inside the shell and their plastron will close up this snapping turtle can't do that so it has to defend itself the, the best way she knows how the snapping turtles get their name honestly they really do snap this is in slow motion, so you can really see how far they can snap that neck out. So I wanted to show you some close-ups here of the, both the turtle's feet and the big claws that are on there. And you can see these claws here and protected by my gloves. So I'd really suggest picking up a, a turtle, a snapping turtle that's crossing a road. I wouldn't pick them up without some uh, sturdy gloves to protect you. Um, you can see how small the plastron is. That's the part of the shell on his stomach, and he's just not able to pull in. It's fascinating to see the detail on their legs, the dinosaur-like spines that are there. And you can see he's, uh, he's kind of hissing at me right now, or she. So the reason I think this is a female snapping turtle is because of her behavior and this is the time of the year 
that these snapping turtles are on the move. They will leave the pond and move at a considerable distance from the pond in order to lay eggs. In a mulch pile, we once found near the high school, we found a turtle that had laid eggs probably about 300 yards away from the stream, up a hill in a pile of uh, gravel, a very, very fine uh, gravel that they were using for the trails there. Snapping turtles will eat almost anything that they can capture in the pond. They're a true omnivore. They'll eat living things, dead things, crustaceans, crayfish. Uh, when I had one, I had a rescue snapping turtle at the high school for a period of time. And the best food that we found for them was chicken necks. And so we would buy chicken necks at the grocery store that a lot of people use for crabbing. And we would uh, give her one or two chicken necks there. And chicken necks are great because they had a lot of calcium to build strong bones and carapaces and plastrons. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. And I hope you enjoyed it more than this snapping turtle did. Uh, I'll be returning this snapping turtle uh, back down to the pond where she came from. Like I said, she was inside in a closed chain link fence. We don't know how she got in there. And she was blocking the porch door and didn't want to move. So I came to get her and I took this opportunity to film this and I thought it was a fantastic educational experience for everyone. Except of course, this turtle. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. So this has been Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door.